Measles is a, a viral illness that's been around for hundreds of years, but we don't hear about it much anymore because most of the population has been immunized against it, and there are very few cases. So measles um, starts like most other viral illnesses with uh, a fever and a cough and runny nose, red eyes, and then after several days, patients develop a characteristic rash, which is little red spots that start usually on the face and then kind of work their way down. The way measles is spread is, is respiratory. So it's an airborne virus. People who have measles have a fever and cough. The good news about measles is that it's, it's virtually eradicated from this country. Um, in, the, in the 50s and before, there were three or four million cases per year in this country. Uh, and then immunization has been so effective that there are only about 100 cases a year now in the U.S. So it's very rare. In fact, most young physicians have never even seen measles. Um, it's, it's almost eradicated. But there are still a few cases here and there in the country because not everybody gets immunized. Yes, it's absolutely safe to continue to come to Community Regional Medical Center. Um, we've taken every precaution to make sure there's no spread of infection, and the huge majority of the staff in the hospital and the doctors um, are immunized to measles anyway, just as the rest of the population. So the risk of spread is extremely low. If you were to develop a fever and a cough and a runny nose, it probably is still a common cold. But if you're in one of those groups that's especially at risk, those who haven't been vaccinated, babies, pregnant women, those with a weakened immune system, it would probably be wise to call your doctor or to call the public health department to find out more information. The public health department is advising that if you think you might be getting measles, early signs like fever and cough and runny nose, uh, they actually advise that you stay home and not expose other people. Um, but they do make phone numbers available so that you could call public health for information or calling your regular doctor to find out what you, sh what you should do next.